Hey guys, my name's Tom. This is my 1970 Porsche 914. Um, for the last few months, I've been installing a new uh, electronic fuel injection system by the Dub Shop, uh, put together by Mario. It's a great, great uh, <laughs> system that he has over there. Let's go around the car and let's look at it real quick. Uh, I've been working on this car for probably uh, almost 20 years now. Uh, it's been through a lot, <laughs> two marriages, uh, two combat deployments, uh, many garages, engine in and out a whole bunch of times. So anyway, it's almost, it's never going to be completely finished, but you know, I'm, I'm enjoying it now. Uh, so I'll show you what I did to it. So uh, inside, um, did a little customizing. You know, obviously a 1970 doesn't have a uh, adjustable seat on the side. Well, I changed that on mine. I, I wanted to have it where my passenger, my wife, can adjust the seat. So I put, I did that. Uh, gauges. I put the, um, I put the, uh, the rare gauge that has the the, um, the sender, the oil temperature uh, gauge. I'm sorry, on the top. So I got that in there. Uh, show you the engine compartment. Here's where the magic happens. Oh, it's nice. Nice and firm. Mario really does put a great system together. There's the uh, new fuel rails. The throttle uh, bodies under that. With the uh, air filter at the top. It really looks like a dual uh, fault system. I love the look. I'll show you the uh, back where the computer system is. Alright. Just like in the, I don't know some of y'all probably seen the video where uh, somebody had a white 914 beautiful car with a uh, 2.0 and they installed the same system. Well, I looked at that one and I followed that same model of how I was installing mine. So I've got the uh, computer here. I bought Mario's uh, motherboard where everything clicks together. Awesome, it works really good. I had to buy a TAC adapt uh, system to make my tachometer work. Uh, again, it's a 1970, so once I put that on, everything works great. So, good. We'll go down for a ride and uh, let you hear it turn. Yeah, it rides great. Probably like portion and ten is within the ride. Was built in 1969. It's a 1970, but this particular model, this car was built in 1969. Car now. All right. I'm on my. Uh, I'm a post. I'm on the post, so I can't really get on it too much. I'm. Uh, I have the uh, post MPs getting on me. So I'm gonna get on a little bit right here, though. more later on when I get on the highway going to my gym I own a uh, I own a CrossFit box as well as a, being in the army so I have fun so and it, this thing it, it's it's hey great guys I'm back going to the gym car is running great a lot of people ask do I get a lot more uh, horsepower you know I don't know I haven't put it on a dyno yet um, I have an idea that it probably is a little more but the, the key thing is the drivability. Oh my goodness. Compared to the uh, the old system, which nothing against the old system, it's 50 years old. This one is it's, it's night and day. 